Henry Ford. I'm Ava Pritchard. And I'm Jordan Collins. Today is the 17th season of the Henry Ford 2 Newscast. There's a lot going on this time of the year. We just finished homecoming and our annual play kicks off soon. And our haunted house opens near the end of the month. We have a lot in store for this month's episode. So stay tuned. Yep. Here at Ford, we have a fabulous theater program, and theater teacher Miss Carolyn not only runs both school plays, she also teaches theater one, two, and three, as well as two stagecraft classes. Along with those classes, Miss Carolyn and the four theater students put on two schools' plays every year. Speaking of the fall play, Henry Ford's The Outsiders goes up in November. Joining me today is some of our cast members to give us some insight into their characters. Thank you for being here, Caleb. Thank you for having me. So, how many years have you been a part of the After School Theater Program? I have been a part of the After School Theater Program for about two years now. How many plays have you been in the... Uh, I to go, but you're good. Oh. <laughs> Who do you play in The Outsiders? Um, I actually play Pony Boy in The Outsiders. <laughs> um, do you have any favorite parts that you've been a part of? Um, probably this year being Pony Boy, because the only other part I've been is Peter Pan, and this year I get to play a lead role and actually entertain the audience, so I'm really excited about that. That's cool. What's been your favorite part to memorize? Um, probably my scene with Soda and Dairy, where I run into the house and I get yelled at by them, and it leads to a huge climax and actually sparks into the scene two of the play. Thank you again. I appreciate you doing this interview for me. No problem. Thank you for taking your time to be here, Josh. Of course. So, how long have you been a part of the After School Theater Department? It's coming on two years now. What can you say is your favorite part about playing your character? Well, being Johnny, I get a scene with almost everyone else in the cast, and I gotta say, working with all those great people has been the best part. I appreciate you taking the time. Thank you again. Thank you to everyone who joined me today. Don't forget to keep an eye out for the flyers for the Henry Ford II fall play, The Outsiders. We hope to see you again. Signing off, Claudia. We're already halfway through the first quarter and us seniors are getting ready to apply to our dream colleges or already have. October 21st through 25th is college week, so I'm here to encourage you to join in in all the activities. Monday is College Conversation Day. Tuesday is College Trivia Day and all the winning classes will win a prize. Wednesday is the I Apply Day. All seniors will be participate in signing posters labeled with the colleges they have or will apply to. Thursday is Door Decorating Day, and the winning class will also win a prize. And Friday is College Apparel Day, and everyone is invited to participate. Also, counselors will be available every day in the counseling office during all lunches to assist students with college applications, FAFSA, and any other questions they come across. Applying to colleges can be stressful, so teachers and counselors are here to help you. I'm Ava Pritchard, signing off. Hi, I'm Julia Connelly, Student Council Representative. We just finished Spirit Week not too long ago, and it went really good. For those of you who don't know or have already forgotten, this year's homecoming theme was Forcella. Monday, we had Pajama Day, and our lunch game was Plinko. Tuesday was a hit with the bull riding. And everyone loved making friendship bracelets and dream catchers on Wednesday. Overall, everyone went all out, and it was great to see the teachers and all of the students participate. It was, great, it was a great way to get us pumped up for the homecoming game and pep rally and the dance. It was definitely one to remember. And a huge thanks to Student Council for help coordinate everything in our favorite time of the year. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Julia signing off. Hey Falcons, Crystal here, and to get into the spirit of Halloween, Henry Ford II's theater teacher, Miss Carolyn, along with our very own students on October 31st, will be putting on a haunted house. This year's theme is nightmares. I'm here now with Miss Carolyn to get more information on the haunted house. How many years have you been putting on the haunted house? I've been doing it, this is my, my fifth year, but I think as a school, we've been doing it for six or seven. What made you decide you wanted to put on a haunted house? I love Halloween, the theater kids love Halloween. Any reason to put on a costume and dress up and cover ourselves with blood um, <laughs> is a good one. Um, also, we have the opportunity to, opportunity to do something really good for charity and the money stays in the building um, to help out a group, so. Why did you choose the theme of nightmares this year? 
So the, the title of it is Horum Actus, which is nightmares in Latin. And we thought it would be really fun to explore the idea of what scares us most while we're sleeping. How do you choose who's a good fit to participate in the Haunted House? It's usually Theater 3, the International Thespian Society, um, and Stagecraft working on it, as well as some of the students from the National Art Honor Society helping us out. How much work do the actors put into the Haunted House? Um, the individual actors and stage crew People probably about 10 hours each because they're each responsible for developing the, the, the writing and the performance for each of the areas. Um, with the exception of Teresa De Benedetti, who's organized the entire thing, who has put in hundreds of hours of work. Thank you so much for filming with me today. That's all for today for me, Falcons. Hey Ford, I'm Valentina Emanuel. And I'm Mia DeSantis. Today we are going to talk to you about the homecoming game and the dance. On Friday, October 4th, Ford took a tough loss against Dakota. The score is 14-7. So close. The football players did their best, but we'll get them next year. Homecoming was a success. The theme this year was for Cella. Everyone was having so much fun dancing to throwback songs, as well as the newer ones. Falcons clean up pretty nicely, if you ask me. Mrs. Vercel's decorations looked amazing. Thank you from the entire student body to all the teachers that chaperoned. That's it for today. I'm Mia DeSantis. And I'm Valentina Emanuel, signing off. That's all for this episode. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Ava. And I'm Jordan, and we'll see you next time.